What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Today is an ab workout. There's no equipment needed so you can pick a spot in the gym and complete this or you can complete this at home. I also wanted to give a few quick tips for ab workouts. So tip number one, a lot of people work their abs every single day after every single workout and they are just like every other muscle. You don't need to work them every day. They need rest. Tip number two, following that one, just like every other muscle, they need progressive overload. So whether you add weight to the workouts, or you add more reps, or you add more time, they need some form of progressive overload. Tip number three, it's really easy to let other muscles take over when you're doing ab exercises. So leg lifts or hanging leg raises, your hip flexors can easily take over. So make modifications when needed and break down the exercise so that you actually feel it in the correct places. I prefer to complete my ab workouts for time versus reps. I find it more challenging. You can do it either way though. I just also find that it's really easy to add progressive overload. Let's say I hold a plank for 30 seconds, the next time I can do it for 35 seconds or 40 seconds. But like I said, you can do it either way. I have the workout written down in the description below. Please be sure to give the video a thumbs up if you find it helpful. helpful a quick little note about working your abs you can't spot reduce fat so what I mean is even if you do ab workouts or you work out your legs it doesn't mean that you're gonna lose fat in those specific areas it does come down to overall fat loss which does come down to being in a caloric deficit so be sure to leave a comment down below if you want a full video on fat loss so we can kind of go more in detail about it and then don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss future videos